Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Email me directly for pricing, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model launched in 2020, the IWC Portuguese Automatic 40, reference 3583-05. You can see that this is a remarkably handsome watch that takes the Portuguese back to roughly the original size of the 1939 original. So while the Portuguese was huge for its time, the caliber that was used was a pocket watch movement, and the case in the 325 reference was about the size of what you see here. Now we have a true wristwatch caliber here, but the basic size and similarities are striking. So 40 millimeters, to be precise, 40.4 millimeters in stainless steel. The watch is 12.6 millimeters thick, 49 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. 20 millimeters is the spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. And it actually wears quite well. I'd recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, maybe 13 and a half if your wrist is more oval than round. And you can see down the barrel, it's nowhere near the edge of my wrist. From over the top, I've got plenty of clearance on both sides, and you can see that well. And it is flat enough to easily fit underneath a dress cuff or formal attire. Taking a look at the strap, IWC factory strap, brand new condition, no crimping, no gouging, black calfskin on the bottom, large rectangular scale alligator leather semi-gloss on the top, a little bit of bolstering to give it some volume. You can see that semi-gloss finish the monotone stitch, and then on the edge we have a sheer cut so you can see the layers of leather as they're bound together. We have a simple double deployment clasp, this one's friction fit, which is more than sufficient for a dress watch. This is a nice feature to see, as IWC considers this to be something of an entry point to the Portuguese line, but it's not entry level, as you get a deployant clasp rather than the cheaper and somewhat riskier pin buckle. Note the use of both polish and set nation. This is a thoughtfully finished component, and again, a little security against dropping your watch. That's what you get with a deployant. The case band will be familiar to Portuguese enthusiasts, blended lugs and case profiles, so the lugs blend into the case band. There's no break or step between between them, longitudinal satin finish, lugs that taper nicely when viewed head on with a polished lug hood profile, and then a little bit of an instep from the case band to the bezel, which has a small vertical component, and then the rest of it is concave to create the impression of an even thinner watch. Push down crown, IWC logo, all of this water resistant to 30 meters, so splash and rain only. The crown is cylindrical and sharply knurled, and frankly, a pleasure to wind, even though this is an automatic winder. The dial is very similar to the original of 19. 39, where the reference 325 would be familiar. And you can see that it has everything. The leaf style hands at center, small seconds down at six o'clock. We have a combination of applique indices and vertically arrayed Arabic numerals in a lovely 1930s style font. We have a blue sunburst graining to the dial that radiates out from underneath the hands at center. And you can see the cannon pinion has been polished to blend nicely with the mirror polished profile of the hands. We have a little bit of an azurage or concentric pattern for the sunken subseconds. And there's a railroad track outboard for reading the individual minutes and a mini railroad track for reading the seconds. IWC logo, Swiss made, remarkably discreet. Not a whole lot of printing here. Rolex could take note. Pull the crown, you activate hacking or stop seconds. And the setting mechanism is remarkably precise. There's almost no play between the time I start turning the crown and the actual motion of the hands, which is quite impressive. There's no setting dead angle here. Turn it all over. We have an IWC caliber, and you'll note that it includes a number of flourishes, like a skeletonized rotor and a skeletonized barrel bridge, so you can easily see the mechanism. This is IWC caliber 8-2. 200 it includes a ceramic version of IWC's bi-directional Peloton pole-based winding system invented in the late 40s, industrialized in the early 50s by IWC watchmaker Albert Peloton. It's a bi-directional winding system with ceramics so that it creates no dirt on the movement, never needs to be cleaned or lubricated. We have a 60-hour power reserve here with the stop seconds. It pivots on 31 joules. It is adjusted in five positions, which is impressive because that's the standard for chronometers and high horology watches. 
watches, and it beats away at an industry standard 28,800 vibrations per hour, and you can see that quite well. It is a good looking movement overall, though machine finished. It's been beautifully machine finished and includes a lovely flourish, which is the rose gold medallion inside of the winding rotor. And you can see that there's a lot to enjoy. So even though this is a machine finished movement, it's one of the most attractive I've encountered, it is worth buying the loop if you buy this watch. IWC's icon in its most elemental form, now a little bit smaller, closer to historical size, and with the convenience of automatic winding. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.